And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. We've got a perfect day for baseball. It's the Los Angeles Dodgers going up against the Pittsburgh Pirates. And now, your 2000 First pitch coming at you right after the break. Pittsburgh Pirates. Almost ready to get underway. And today's starter, Mitch Keller. What do we need to know here? Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters Pretty guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Pitch. Line drive, and it's caught for the out. Batting second, the shortstop, Trey Turner. Trey Turner steps to the plate for the Dodgers. This guy has turned into a beast. That one the other way, and a base hit. Batting third, the third baseman, Justin. Justin Turner. Turner now. Hard hit, base hit. He's in there. Well, that at bat had a lot of pressure riding on it, so really great job coming through right there. It's got to feel good. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a pure stroke. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump ahead in this game here in the later innings. Turner at second. Turner over at first with one away. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. And that one is out of here. Ready, Freeman bops one out of here. And just like that, they're out front. It's 3-0. With this guy's velocity, a changeup is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball, didn't move a whole lot, and he absolutely tattooed it. Batter now will be Will Smith. That is fit. The catcher, Will. Smith. Out towards left center. Reynolds racing over to make the catch. Batting fit. The designated hitter, Max. Two outs, bases empty. Next to hit, Max Muncy. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. Muncy hits one in the air. Reynolds moving under it. And makes the play, and that's out number three. But the big blow of the inning comes right here. A three-run homer. It's now 3-0. Bottom of the first, and on the hill for the Dodgers, Walker Bueller. What do we have on him? Well, the big thing is that the way he holds his curveball, it's more of a knuckle curve, and because of that, it's less predictable in terms of the break for the hitter. That makes it that much harder to hit this guy. We go to the bottom of the first at the plate for Pittsburgh. T. Brian Hayes. Leading off for the Pirates. The third baseman. The pitch. T. Brian. Hey. That's a bullet, but it goes foul. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And he's down 0-2 as he swings okay. through it. Oh. 
rips one to right. And he pulls up on it. And that's a hit. Good job of just putting the ball in that play with second. two strikes. The I'll tell you. And it's such a good team. feeling when you smoke a line drive into the gap like that. I mean, sure, home runs are king, but I feel like nothing makes you feel like a true professional hitter more than a bolt the other way. And you can feel this crowd waking up a bit here as the guys are starting to make some noise with their bats. On a line out towards center. One down. Batting third, the center fielder, Ryan. Brian Reynolds here. Good contact guy, good defender. Obviously a guy who makes good contact, hits for average. But one of the things in today's game, the value in the fact that he hits both righties and lefties. That one hammered center field. Way back there. Turning, looking, and that one is gone. Ryan Reynolds leaves the yard. And they slice into the lead. It's 3-2. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Gave it a great effort, but... You know, those plays are so tough to pull off, and I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Here's Daniel Vogel back. Batting four, the designated hitter, number 19. And first offering is fouled off. Why the kick the pitch? And fouled off. Vogelback stays alive. Still only one out here in the inning. And a foul ball. He stays alive. That one ripped. And it hits the fence. Batting fifth, the left fielder, Anthony. Anthony Alford, oh, the next pirate to hit. And that one is lifted in the air. Betts is on the move. Makes the grab, tracks it down after the long run. Two down. Every day during batting practice, these outfielders get about 10 minutes batting of balls six. in the gaps. The right they field. practice this, and Man. when the game comes, they make the yeah, play perfectly. Ball. Here's Ben Gamble. And first offering is fouled off. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And that one fouled off. A little early on that fastball, I'm sure the pitcher taking a note. Look for an off-speed pitch on this next one. Just a beautiful play. Where's the cake? In the air like Superman. Diving catch, and he ends the inning. Welcome back. Chris Taylor now. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. Hammer, base hit. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Pitch was away, and he did exactly what you're supposed to do with it. Drive it the other way. Just go with the pitch. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Gavin Lux. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. And he deals. Swing and a miss, chased it out of the zone. This is one of those situations defensively where you can't try to do too much. You've got to make sure that you field the ball cleanly and get one out first. It's going to be tough to get two with this kind of speed in the batter's box. 
He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. And there's one down. Batting nine. The center fielder, number 35. One down. There comes Cody Bellinger. Bellinger. And he boots it. Now batting. Right fielder. Mookie. Ben. So the batting order turns over. Here's Mookie now. This is a true five-tool guy. Not very many of them out there, but when he's on the field, you can't take your eye off of him. Now a high fly ball out to left center. Reynolds turns to the right on the move. Got it! Covered plenty of distance there. Two down. Reynolds hustles to get it in. And the runner holds it third. The batter, number six. Shortstop, Trey. Here's Turner now. He's been such a good hitter with runners in scoring position. Some guys just take it to another level. For him right now at the plate, it's like everyone else is in slow motion and he's in full speed. There's a swing and a drive. And out of here. Trey Turner goes deep. And they tack on to their lead. It's 6-2. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle. So when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. So two down. Now Justin now Turner down. gets a chance to the hit. Third baseman, Justin Turner. Swings and lines a base hit into left field. The batter, the first baseman, Freddie Green. Hit well, right field, way back, and gone. His second home run of the game, and they add a pair. It's 8-2. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Base is empty with two away. And yeah, the batter now, Will now Smith. Batting. Catcher, Will. In the air, right field, Gamble gets under it. And makes the grab. And that is that. But the long ball was working in this inning. Not once, but twice. The lead has exploded to a half dozen. Back here in Pittsburgh, we head to the bottom of the second. Now here is Roberto Perez. This guy, one of the best defensive catchers going. You talk about framing, the ability to block catch and throw he is at the top of the game Bueller back to work on the ground and it goes just foul the 0 one on the ground right side that's a base hit Just a simple ground ball the, the other way that had eyes on it, man. Sometimes that's all you need to do. Just let the ball travel, put the ball in play, and just hope it finds a hole. So digging in, Cole Tucker. Swing and a ball popped up. And it drops in. Lead runner holds up. They're at first and second with nobody out. 
First pitch swing in, went Not up there enough. with the plan to be aggressive. When you pop a ball up like that, you don't expect it to get you a knock too often. But right there, somehow he got it to drop in behind first base, and that's where no one could get to it. The batter now, Kevin Newman. Bounced up the middle. Nice grab. But no chance that's an infield single. Well, I can understand the defense right there trying to cut off that lead runner at third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. Now batting key Brian Hayes. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. Way back. And out of here. He made him pay for that one, and they cut into the deficit. It's 8 6. This crowd back alive. Well, a great job here of staying within himself. You know that if you get a knock, you're going to drive in a couple, so stay focused on that. Well, he does more than just a knock, it's the grand slam to drive in four. Really good job at the plate. And here is Yoshi Tsutsugo. He's over one. Tsutsugo. Swings through that one. 0 and 1. Now you know it's tough to bounce back on the mound after giving up a granny, especially when you still have three outs to get. Somehow he's got to shake it off. He's got to just hit the reset button and try to get one batter at a time, one out at a time. Liner, base hit. They are really feeding off each other. That's five hits in a row. I could watch base hits like that one all day long, and so could every hitting coach in the league. Just a nice line drive into center field. Now a huge at bat in this game coming up. And now it's going to be Brian Reynolds. And that one in the air center field. That's back. And forget it. He's done it again. His second home of the game. And they throw a pair on the board. It's 8-8. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch. And I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. velocity up and in is just such a difficult location for the hitter but this time he pulls the hands tight to the body gets through this pitch what conviction in that swing awesome job at the plate now Daniel Vogel back at the plate 19. and that one lifted in the air center field Bellinger has this one sized up puts it away for the out Now batting, left fielder, Anthony Alford. Anthony Alford, the next pirate to hit. That one blasted deep to right, back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. The batter, the right fielder, Ben. So two down now, and here is Ben Gamel. Fouled off to the right. The pitch. Well struck right field. And it's off the wall. Fires the second too late. And he's got a double. Well, that at bat had a lot riding on it. Certainly a pivotal swing of the bat in this ball game. He hit that ball really well to deep right field right there. Got a pitch to drive and just stayed through it nicely. Didn't quite have the trajectory to clear the fence, but you're always happy with an extra base hit. A lot riding on this next at bat now as they look to take the lead at a critical point in this one. Roberto Perez catcher, standing in. 55. Out to center. Roberto. Bellinger under it. Perez. And that ends the inning. Pirates played four on the Grand Slam.
all even now at eight apiece. Back here at the ballpark, here's Max Muncy, that funky Muncy. If you don't get ahead in the count, you can forget about having any success against him. Well, he's back out here for the third, and after the first couple of innings, pretty rough. I think the skipper's looking for him to give him a little bit of length, see if he can save the bullpen some. And that chance handled. Whips it to first in time. They get the out on Muncy. The left field, number three, Chris Taylor. So up next, Chris Taylor. And he's already singled in this game. You know, this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind. If he can get on, it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about. And he swings and misses at the initial offering. The other way, calls it in, and there's two away. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. So digging in, Gavin Lux. Now this guy, a player that, if he gets on base, has the ability to really be aggressive getting around the base paths. Up the middle. That's a hit. Always feels amazing getting a job done when the team needs you to come through. It's just bigger than your own individual stats. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Slides, but it gets by him. Back to back base hits. Pretty tough for the infielders to do anything with that one. He pulled it hard into the outfield. And even when you keep it on the ground, it feels great when you hit a missile like that. And a huge opportunity now to grab the lead at this point in the game. So the lineup flips over. And next for LA, Mookie Betts. Up the middle. Betts uses the speed. Infield single. Well, I can understand the defense right there trying to cut off that lead runner at third, but a good jump and an excellent finish for the base runner to get in there safely. Here's Trey Turner. In the air to left center. Racing makes the catch. And that is that. And the Dodgers leave them loaded. And this remains an eight all time. As we go to the last of the third. And now Lydia Cole Tucker. For the Pirates. The second baseman. Cole. The line in the pitch. High fly ball out to center field. Bellinger under this one. And there's one down. Now batting, shortstop, Kevin Newman. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Kevin Newman. Hard liner. Taylor makes the play. And there's two down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base. Represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. Key Brian Hayes, the next pirate to hit. He's already homered here in this one. And that one fouled off. Next offering is in for a strike. Rip towards third. Turner to first. And it's a 1 2 3 inning. Bucks go down quietly. Score remains at eight apiece.
And welcome back as we go to the top of the fourth. Turner climbs in on that right side. Man at second, nobody out. Chris, certainly one of the things in his head is trying to get the runner over. Yeah, the way that we see the game played today, though, guys are not sacrificing as much just to get that runner across. They're really looking at doing damage. Slugging is the name of the game. The first base is number five. Freddie Green. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. Known for his late inning heroics. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, boo. Not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Alford puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. Now that the catcher will... And up to the plate is Will Smith. Yeah, Boog, if you're that base runner at second base, you want to be quiet out there. Not bouncing around, not distracting your teammate, the hitter. Make sure that he can clearly focus on that pitcher and that release point. Swing and a high fly ball. That one out towards left center field, way back there and brings it in at the wall. Runner tags up for third, and he moves up a base. So two away with runners at the corners. The designated hitter, Max Muncy. Here comes Max Muncy. He's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. Next pitch has popped up. Perez drifts towards it, squeezes it, and that'll do it. Dodgers strand a couple, and this remains an eight all time. That was an opportunity to do damage. He popped it up instead. Frustrating at bat. About that one for him. Back here at PNC Park, John Chambi and Chris Singleton leading with you. And Pirates. leading off the bottom of the fourth, the Yoshi Tutsugo. Yoshi Tutsugo. Bueller back to work. And first offering is fouled off. Righty to the plate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. And down on strikes he goes. Leadoff hitter retired in the fourth. Gosh, here it is. Hit it. Three pitch strikeout, all fastballs. Man, he's got a Double lot of confidence ten. in that pitch right now. Ryan. Brian Reynolds, the next pirate to hit. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. Kicks and fires. Fly ball down the line. And it's off the wall. Throw is offline. This one's over, and the Pirates walk it off for the win. Well, you come to the ballpark hoping you'll see something special that day, whether you're a player or a fan, a walk-off win, nobody forgets that. A memorable moment that'll be logged in the backs of the minds of everybody that witnessed this here today. And the final here today, 9-8. For Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show, thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.